So if you recognize that riff, that is Nirvana's All Apologies. And that's what I'm going to show you today on the uke. Um, so, but a couple things about this song to begin with. Um, uh, the recording, which I'm using the live Unplugged MTV concert that they did that was very uh, well received, where they played acoustically um, as the recording that I'm sort of using for the reference, although the original recording is in the same key. It's one half step up. And it's, it's much more difficult to play this way. And uh, since it's only a half step away from the best key in the world for ukulele, C, um, I'm going to teach it in C. However, what I'm showing you, could, you today, you can easily take a capo and put it on your ukulele like this. And play the same song in the correct key um, if you want to be in the correct key. So uh, we'll have another lesson talking more about how to put on a capo and how to use it and that sort of thing. So, but for this lesson, we're going to do it in the key of C. So it's all about this riff. And uh, so um, you're going to be playing you know, some more notes, not just chords on this. Now, it's based around a C chord. But in this case, I'm just going to avoid playing the A string. I'm just going to use the bottom three strings. And you can just sort of rest your hand here on the string to mute it, leave your hand there. I kind of leave my pinky there a lot, or just generally as my hand's playing other notes, it's resting on that string. So that's the beginning here. And then we slide up for this. This is kind of hard to get to speak really well. The other way to play this is playing it with the, the A string there. That might be a lot easier, but it doesn't seem to sound as like the guitar part, the way he plays it, at least um, in that particular performance. Because he kind of slides into that. So I thought it sounded better that way. So that last part, we definitely play on the A string. So the first part. Just that much. And then the second part. I'm going all the way up to the eighth fret here. A B flat, same as like that. So the tricky part is making the transition between this position up here and back to the beginning. You can also play this riff and include the high A string if you want, just fingering the C there. Whoops, sorry. Now, <clears throat> on the chart, I have put a strumming pattern in um, if you were to strum this. There's two ways to play it. You can strum it for the verse section, maybe. We're using an 
up down pattern with your right hand or you can downstroke it as what we call when you play all the downstrokes I'm just showing you all, sort of all the three different ways, or the two different ways to play this. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> in the verse, if you're singing and playing this, playing the riff and singing could be a little bit tricky to do. Um, so I've, I've also just included some straight chords to uh, to play along with the verse. Just going back and forth from regular C to a C, what we would call a C5, I guess, because it just has roots and fifths in it. Um, and really that's it for the first part of the verse. The second part of verse we switch to an F chord. So when you get to the next section where he says Mary and uh, we sort of hold the chord, you're going to a G chord there. And uh, on the MTV version, he plays that rhythm. And, and at the very end, he, there is a C sus four chord before we go back to the riff. So here, let me play through that section one time, the Mary section. And then we're back to the riff. Um, uh, so there, that's, I mean, those are the parts. Those, uh, in essence, uh, three parts. We've got the main riff. And that's the, really the characteristic part. Then you have the verse. With just those chords. Although in the recording, there's another guitar player who's constantly playing that riff. Why he's singing. So, it depends on if you can coordinate that and sing and play at the same time. Then we go to the F chord. Um, that's, what is that? Uh, eight bars of that. No, I'm sorry, six bars of that. Six bars of the F. And then we get to the Mary section. the C. So uh, once the second chorus has gone by, which is um, just a little bit longer, uh, has one extra uh, chord uh, on the D on the second chorus, then you get to the outro section, which is basically that riff over and over again. It's the mantra section. All we are is all alone, or all alone is all we are. And on this one, I, I this is where I played it with keeping every, playing all the strings together. And you just repeat that over and over again as it fades away. Um, so that's it. Um, remember that the original recording 
requires a capo to be in tune with it. So we'll uh, go out playing it in the uh, actual key of the recording. One thing to note here that this is this capo is designed for a guitar, so it's a little big on a ukulele and crowds your hands down here, and it's kind of difficult to get it to get more out of the way. You can get a capo designed specifically for the uke. I just don't happen to have one here. <clears throat> so that's better. Now I can get my finger around there. I've got a little more room. <clears throat> so yes, to, to, to play it in the original recording, got to use the capo. Nirvana's All Apologies. <laughs>